open shut it open shut it open the door and shut it teacher people have not entered the class let them enter and then you shut the door what is the opposite of open it is shut okay now it's your teacher announcer welcome to easy limo learning simplified wow counting forward and backwards still the same direction forward backward forward backward now we today we are counting forward and backwards in tens remind me the rules i'm not going to teach i've told you this is revision i'm doing not even teaching i've not started teaching grade 3 work i'm still doing revision uh huh room for counting backward and forward in tens teacher the rule is the last number is the same number in all the numbers if it ends with a zero all the numbers will end with a zero if it ends with a four all the numbers end with a four the last number is the same in all the numbers for example i've been given here 888 So it will be eight, nine, eight. Then we go to nine zero eight. Then we go to nine eighteen. So which one is the missing number? So we are saying, if I add ten to eighty-eight, first of all, look at the constant number. I told you when the number is big, the easiest method is you look at the common number. But in this case we don't have a common number. Why? This one is 8, this one is 8, this one is 9 and this one is 9. So which one is common there? We don't know. So we go the long way. When we are this one is increasing. So we are adding here 10. When you add here a 10, what do you get? You get 898. When I add here my 10, I get 908. When I get here, I add here a 10, I get 9 18 now when i add here a 10 what am i going to get i'm getting 9 28 and it's as simple as that 9 28 that is the last number is common in all the common in all the numbers what if my last number is a zero what if my last number is a zero which one is the missing number rule number 1 identify any common number there you see the common number here is 7 it's constant in all the numbers then we now look at our remaining two numbers look at our remaining two numbers When you look at the two remaining numbers there is something common about this number they all end with a z a zero so you can fix in the and you're now remaining with the missing number in between so if this one is 1 this one is 2 this one is 3 this one is 4 which one will be your missing number 5 very good alternatively you can to look at counting in tens 10 20 30 40 which one will be a missing number 50 alternatively you can decide to add a 10 you get 20 here you add a 10 you get 30 you add a 10 you get 40 you add a 10 you get 50 so our missing number still remains 750 what if we are counting backward what if we are counting backward when you are counting backward the rule still remains the same i'm counting backward and i have here 6 and 64 664 665 664 665 654 So which one is our missing number? Now our missing number here is we are now reducing this by 10. But look at the common number first. 
What one is our common number? Our common number is 6. Now, let's see. If I reduce 84 by 10, I get a 74. If I reduce a 74 by 10, I get a 64. If I reduce a 64 by 10, I get a 54. If I reduce 54 by 10, I get a 44. So our answer here will be 644. Is there a problem there when it comes to counting forward and backwards of numbers? Now, they have said you arrange numbers, you arrange the following numbers between 300 to 500. Not even 300, 300 to 400 in the forward manner. 300 to 400, count 300 to 400 in tens. You arrange these numbers in tens forward. Who can tell me what will happen here? So our starting number is 300. So on 300, what are you supposed to do? Increase it by 10, which will be 310. After 310, increase it by 10, 320, by 10, 330, by 10, 340, by 10, 350, by 10, 360, by 10, 370, by 10, 380, by 10, 390, and now lastly is 400. So your question comes like this. You count from 200 to 100. This is backward. 200 to 100. In tens. This is backward. And you tell me, how will your numbers flow? And of course, you can consult with the help of your guardians, parents, siblings. You can now do this. Counting in backwards in tens from 200 to 100. Any question about counting numbers forward, backward? Any problem? In ones, in tens, in fives, in four, in twos, any problem? No problem. So it means we have now understood that concept very well. We have done it in grade one, grade two, and now in grade three. I wish you well and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Bye.